Okay, here we'll look at graphing linear inequalities. And so the very first one we'll look at is the inequality 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. And notice here that the 3 and the 4 both divide into 12 evenly. So the easiest method to try to graph this is first of all graph the line 3x plus 4y equals 12 using a solid line. Here we use a solid line because equality is allowed. Okay, so to graph this line, again, the intercept method is probably the easiest. Uh, to find the x-intercept, we'll say let y be 0 and find out what x has to be. So we look at 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. So that's 3x equals 12, or x equals 4. So the ordered pair 4, 0 is the x-intercept. The y-intercept can be found by letting y be 0 and then finding out what, I'm sorry, let x be 0 and then finding out what y is going to be. So in that case, we'll take 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. So 4y equals 12, so y must be 3. So the ordered pair th 0, 3 is the y-intercept. x-intercept is 4, 0. We only need two ordered pairs to graph a line, and that's what we have. So as we graph this, our x-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, can be plotted here on the x-axis. Our y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, 3 on the y-axis. Again, we'll use a solid line because in our original inequality, we have a greater than or equal to. So we're part of the way done. Now we need to look at, pick a test point not on the line. Okay, so the easiest one is 0, 0, the origin. It's not on our line. If it's a solution to our original inequality, which is 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to, um, greater than or equal to 12, then we're going to test, uh, we'll shade that side. Okay, so as I plug in the ordered pair 0, 0, I'll do it up here x is 0, y is 0. Is that really greater than or equal to 12? So simplifying the left-hand side, is this true? Is 0 greater than or equal to 12? No, that's not true. So that means 0, 0 is not a solution. So no point on this side of the line is a solution. Therefore, every point on the other side is. So we'll shade this side. And just to verify that, let's pick a point out here and see. Okay, 0, 0 was not a solution. What looks like it may be? Maybe uh, the ordered pair 4, 4. As we test that out, um, we'll see 4 times... Um, Actually, we'll do 3 times 4, write it that way. 3 times 4 plus 4 times 4. Is that really greater than or equal to 12? And without simplifying that, we can see that is true because 16 already is greater than or equal to 12. So every point on that side is a solution then.